Hello guys, it's Homestar92 here to start my next LP. Um, you guys all know what it is, I've already made a trailer for it. Um, and I'm going to start this video by disclaimering that I am playing this on an emulator, as there is no legal way to play this game in English. So don't ask about it, I, can, I cannot and will not tell you where to find a ROM of it. Google is your friend. Okay, you don't need a translation patch, just search for an Earthbound Zero ROM and you play it in an emulator. Very simple. So, on that note, I guess we will go ahead and get started. Produced by Nintendo. Nice, nice. They always make good games. Presented by Shigesatu Itoi, my one of my gaming heroes because he created the Mother series. Earthbound Zero, but just because that's the title screen doesn't mean anything. It will hitherto be referred to as Mother, and if you look closely, you'll notice the Earth is upside down. So, you know, just a little interesting factoid for you. Um, I'm gonna erase my test file. Go ahead and start one, and I'm going to put in all the official names. This kid is Mean Ten. He is not Ness. He is Mean Ten. They are separate entities. Here's Anna, or well, Anna, but it's spelled like Anna. And oh yes, Anna definitely hid the horn. And I only only one person is going to get that reference. You know who you are. Don't ask about it. His name is actually his official name is spelled L O I D, but I'm going to use the more conventional spelling just because you know this is a name that people actually have. So, and this I don't know why they call him a boy. He's actually a adult. He's the only adult party member you'll get. And your favorite food, Ness's is snakes. Bleh. Ness's is steak. Lucas's is omelets. Ninten has much better food taste in food than either of them, as his is prime rib. Oops. Prime rib. Is this okay? Sure, why not? In the early 1900s, a dark shadow covered a small country town in rural America. At that time, a young married couple vanished mysteriously from their home. The man's name was George. The woman's name was Maria. Two years later, as suddenly as he left, George returned. He never told anyone where he had been or what he had done, but he began an odd study all by himself. As for Maria, his wife, she never returned. Eighty years have passed since then, and it just kind of drops from the game. Here you are as Ninten. Just a basic rundown of the controls. The B button makes you run, but it's poorly implemented. Instead of making you go faster, it makes all sprites on screen go faster. By default, start button is map. Select tells you like how you're doing. But I'm going to change some options. So if you go to hit A, it brings up the menu. I'm here in the setup. I'm going to reverse the start and select buttons and set the message speed to 5. So what happens if we try to leave? Um like something out of Stephen King. So, it says the lamp drew near. Well, this is a very straightforward fight. Just keep mashing it and it's gonna go down. Not a problem. Two turns. Done. And the lamp stopped moving. But there's still something weird going on, so let's check on Nintendo's siblings. Help me! This doll is having a seizure. What's going on? Whoa, what the... Uh, the doll drew near. What the heck is going on here? Actually, I'm just going to set it to auto fight because it's so straightforward, I don't even feel like punching in the instructions. This way I can just kind of talk while this goes. It's just a basic, you know, hit the fight button over and over. You don't have any usable PSI, so that's really your only option. And you will win this fight. If you don't, you suck at gaming and you need to go bury yourself alive. And the, you ne might notice the dog got a smash attack a couple turns ago. That's basically like a critical hit in Pokemon. And Nintendo advanced to the next level. So fight is increased by 3, speed is increased by 2, wisdom by 3, 
Strength by 3. Force by 2. So yes, the intent is a Jedi. Maximum HP has increased by 10. Wow. The phenomenon... Bleh, the phenomenon has stopped. For the moment. Let's talk to her. I was scared to death. Oh wow, check out what's hidden in the doll. Sure. Inside the doll, Nintendo spotted an old music box. As the music box was wound up, the melody began to play. And if you watch my trailer, that should sound slightly familiar, though incomplete. Let's talk to her again, see what she has to say. Brother, here's some juice. You are thirsty, aren't you? Okay, juice is a basic HP recovery item. And if you go in here and talk to Nintendo's other sister, she will also give you some juice. So, that's nice. Let's go down here and talk to his mom. Ninten, are you alright? Egad, what is happening to our house? I wish your dad were here now. Maybe. Telephone. Ninten, please get it. N Ninten grabbed the telephone. This is your dad? Well, it seems like a poltergeist. I'm not exactly sure how to... But your great-grandfather studied PSI. I might find something in the basement to help. But I left the basement key someplace. I, I can't remember exactly where. Anyhow, son, you are my only hope. It's time for you to go on a little adventure and explore the potential of your powers. Powers not to be taken lightly. Ninten, go for it. But remember to come back and check on our family. Bye. Oh, phone me, and I will save your progress. Yeah, that's how you save the game. You talk on the phone, but since you will be playing this game on an emulator, you'll have access to save states anyway, so... Unless you're playing the Japanese ROM, or the Japanese cartridge, in which case, yeah, you can use a battery save, I guess. But we have nothing else to do, so let's head outside. Hey, let's check out the dog. There on the dog's collar was the basement key. Ninten got the basement key. Yeah, I'll admit, you're not going to know that the first time you play it. So let's go ahead and use the basement key. Oops. Gotta face the door. That helps. So go to goods. Basement key. Alright, there's some presents. Let's check those out. Nintendo opened the present, and there was Great Grandfather's Diary. That is a key item, you will need that later in the game. Unfortunately, key items still take up space in the inventory. There was a plastic bat. Okay. That's a weapon, equipable. So here's how that works. You go to goods, select your weapon, hit use, and it's equipped. Couldn't be easier. Now let's check this one out. And there was bread. Okay, bread is a multi-purpose item. You can eat it to gain HP, or if you use it the first time you use it, Nintendo will start dropping crumbs, and it'll create a warp point. And then the second time you use it, it'll instantly take you right back there. Very useful for getting out of dungeons. So, this is his sister. She'll store items for you. You obviously don't need the basement key anymore, so why don't you just give that to her? Oops. You'll never need the basement key again in the game. Let's talk to Nintendo's mom. So, apparently we can't go on a journey hungry, so she's going to cook up prime rib. And we're going to stay the night and refill our HP. Which is nice, because we just gain... When you gain a level, it doesn't, like, add that much to your HP. Like, your current HP. It only adds that to your total. So, yeah. So here's the overworld. The music is, pro in my opinion, the best overworld music ever. It's Pollyanna. I'm not going to sing it for you. Maybe in a future part. Let's run! Ha 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 ha! Okay, and our first enemy is a centipede. These guys are pathetically weak. One damage, and we're at level two. Nothing to worry about with the centipedes. However, there are some pretty tough enemies in the overworld, so this game involves a lot of grinding for EXP, and I will be doing that off screen. So. If so don't expect my levels to match up perfectly video to video, because I will be grinding off screen between most of them. So let's continue. Oh, what do you have to say? Oh, what can I do? What should I do? Where can I go? Who can I see? What should I do? What should I do? My little Pippi is gone. If you're going to Podunk, please tell the mayor. Oh me, oh my. Yeah, Podunk is the first town in the game. It's a podunk little town. Get oh man, Wally. He's one of the tougher enemies. So you know, just there's not much you can do right now, but fight him the old-fashioned way. Just keep attacking, and eventually you're gonna you're gonna get it. It'll be fine. Oh, we got a critical hit, a smash. Oh, he got one too. That's not good. 
Okay, now would be a good time to show you how to use your HP recovery items. Let's use the orange juice. Ten, not bad. I'd like to get to town. I hope I don't encounter another battle, because we just don't have time. Okay, we're in town now. This is Podunk. So on the note of getting to our first town, I think I'm going to stop the video. So, until next time, like always, if you like my stuff, remember to comment, rate, and subscribe. Um, if you're a new subscriber, I have a few other I have a few other LPs you could check out. Um, I I'm sure you'll if you like those. I'm sure you if you like this. I'm sure you like those. And yeah, I guess I will see you next time with more Mother One. Later.